agree the monetary issues and the debt um, are absolutely stifling for the future of our country. I'm also going to speak directly to District 2, though, because as a part of the country, we still have to be productive within our own district. Um, George believes that District 2, uh, you know, for the last 100 years, we've been dependent on one party. And look at where it's gotten us. District 2 is still one of the poorest congressional districts in the country. We have very poor infrastructure. We have very poor, poor economic opportunities. We have very poor education. All of these is what's going to affect the next generation of our kids. We want them to grow up and stay here and to build a life. And yet the EPA in D.C. is telling us that our kids that are younger than 16 can't even drive a tractor anymore to help on our farms. Um, we are, our way of life is definitely just being killed. We'll have no opportunity left. Um, we are the backbone of this country. District 2 has great people, great morals, great workers, great people that could make a big impact on our country. George has gone ahead and developed an economic advisory council made up of nine different task forces. He has lived here almost his entire life since he was six months old, don't hold that against him. Um, and he grew up on a dairy, he understands ag issues. Um, he's built a small business here, and he's seen the lack of opportunity and what needs to be put in across these great 26 counties that make up our district. These nine task forces are made up of every single, um, everything from manufacturing to oil and gas to agriculture to education to faith-based initiatives, and he's bringing together experts, not from Oklahoma City and Tulsa, but from right here in District 2, people that live here and work here that can help to look at what the issues are, what we need to do in order to improve the opportunities for our children, and give us a chance to finally show what District 2 can do and to finally lead our nation to prosperity.